So one of the things that happens when we design and call out a method, invoke a method, is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So PEMDAS. And the first one is parentheses. So if we take a look at this bottom example here, sum xy, what happens is I evaluate what's inside the parentheses first. In this case, x. x is going to be evaluated, and you see that's where what we have here, so this becomes 5. This 7 becomes, or this y becomes 7. Those two things occur first, and then I assign it over here. So what's going on when I design out a method, when I use a method, is something called passing by a reference. And the idea behind this is now that when we're working, we're, we're looking at something in the sense, uh, let's see, give me two seconds. Go ahead and fast forward. So when we're designing out this code, say for example, I've built it out and I do something like int x equals one, system dot out dot print line, the value of x plus x. I'm saying this is what it's going to be. Now I'm going to make a second one. I'm going to make a method here called increment x. Now increment x, if we kind of take a look, increment x is a void return data type, so it doesn't need to be stored anywhere. So I come down here. I normally put it after my main method or before. It really does not matter. Uh, public static void increment int number. Again, like I said, I don't care what it was called outside of my method. I don't care that it's called x here. Inside my method, I'm going to call you number. Don't care what you were called. You are number in my world. And the same kind of thing. I'm going to change this and I'm going to say that this is now number. The reason why is because there is no x inside here. Again, it doesn't exist. Oh, well, it exists over here. No, nope, no, nope, that exists in this world. No x in this world. Notice how I highlight it. I don't see there's an x anywhere. I didn't name it x. So I'm just going to call this guy number and this guy number. And I'm going to do number plus plus. So what happens when I write this code, when I run this code? What are the values going to be? What are my outputs going to be? And take a look, write this code out, see what happens. I'll pause for one second. Okay, that was hopefully one second, probably a little bit more. But I pull this out and I bring out my code. So again, Java files. I'm going to compile out my test.java file. Compiled out fine. Java test. The value of x is 1. Hopefully, yeah, that's exactly what I was looking at. x was 1. So I printed that out. Then I go into increment. Well, again, what happens is anything, when I call a method, it activates. I don't move forward in my main method. I don't go any further in my main method until this is done. So as you can see, there's a lot to do. The first thing I say is to print the value of number. Again, remember, I call it number, not x. So then all of a sudden I say, well, number plus plus. All right, then print it again. Well, number was passed by a value, meaning only the binary numbers of one were passed on. This is because an integer is a primitive data type. A primitive data type, which means it's very small, especially in the computer scale of things. So I can just th pass it around. I can move it wherever I need to. I don't have to be too careful with it because things like integers, chars, booleans, doubles, longs, floats, even though they sound big, you know, 64 bits, 32 bits, they're not really big in that grand scheme of how, you know, how much my processor can handle at one time. So I can just throw them wherever. So this just magically gets, you know, the 32-bit notation of one. 
and then it does whatever it wants to with it and then outside of this it just moves on and as you can see x never actually changed only number